In today's video, we'll be doing a top 10 on all of the corners inside of Madden. Let's get right into that number 10. And before we get into the video, make sure to go down in the comments and let me know which corners you're using. If you're using three, four, whatever you're using, make sure to let me know down in the comments and let's get right into that number 10. Right here at our number 10, we do have Jalen Ramsey. And this one, I know a lot of people love. It's a name value thing. I always notice in a lot of my top 10s, people love the big name players. It's a thing, right? But if you look at it, he's actually the shortest player on this list. He actually is. It's actually crazy to think about that six foot one is the shortest. But when you look at even wide receiver, I think six foot three on our last top 10 was the shortest on wide receiver or was six foot two. Can't remember. But yeah, corner, we're getting a little taller. We're getting a little better. But Jalen Ramsey, very good card nonetheless. Like I said, just because he's not at number five, four, three, two, one does not mean he's a bad card. I think that be, that that gets people way too twisted in the comments all the time. But this card's actually very good. He's going to get 99 speed for you. He'll have 99 Excel. You can still power this card up. He has lower agility for a corner, which I don't know why they gave. They gave him that earlier in the year as well, people noticed. Don't know why, but he still plays very well. He has 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. But you got to remember, everybody at the end of the year has above 95s in the man zone. So... Being that high really doesn't matter as much because everybody has it, like I said. So a lot of the stats come to height, come to speed, obviously, and then the in-the-box stats. He actually has a really good hit power, really good tackling. He has no block shed, which I think block shed is the best stat to have on a corner because you got to think about it. You can't use your hit power if you're not getting off the block in the first place. So block shed, I like to see higher than the hit power, but still a good card in the box nonetheless compared to a lot of corners. Jalen Ramsey, very good corner, easily in the top 10. Number nine, we have Akello Witherspoon, and this card is almost... Almost basically a golden ticket when you look at him statistically he's gonna be 99 speed for you he already has 98 so all you got to do is power him up you don't even need your strat cards for this guy you'll have really good excel right there for you his agility is amazing as well he has really good stats across the board when it comes to the man in zone and the press his play rack is a little low which i have not this is the only card actually on this list i have not used a killer witherspoon so i am a little i don't i don't think the play rack should matter too much i've seen many people use him in the niners theme team and i I think he goes on the Steelers same team as well I've seen this card a lot he's a big dude as well like I said six foot two we're getting taller like I said Jalen Ramsey is the only one that is six foot one or below on this list and then when you take a look down here he actually is not the best when it comes in the box stats. he does have 81 block shed which I do like anything above 80 right now for a corner is pretty good but no really much uh tackling or power there still a very good card I would take the plus one in height any single day over what Jalen Ramsey involves in the box stats number eight I was actually wrong there is one more six foot one guy i completely forgot about everson walks because he was a brand new corner i thought he was six foot two for some reason i don't know why i felt like in the beginning of the year he was one of the biggest corners in the game and yeah i think he was in the beginning of the game six foot one was pretty big and a lot a lot of people wanted that six foot one corner early on but you guys can see right here six foot one although like i said not taller than a killer witherspoon wait till i show you in a little bit he is very good he'll have 99 speed on your theme team or on any theme team he has better like agility than a guy like jalen ramsey plus three and agility there really good excel as well his man and zone will both be 99 when powered up he has really good play rec and then when you take a look down here he has 91 block shed so that's like a d lineman threshold right there getting above 90 then he has 92 hit power and 80 tackling I mean, he's insane. He's literally insane. Hitting 90 block shed is literally insane for a corner. You're basically, like I said, that's what D lineman hit. That's a D lineman threshold they're hitting at corner. Everson Walls, though, very good card. Everybody, if you were in a Cowboys theme team, I know he goes in a couple as well. This card, he's definitely a beast. I loved him earlier on when he had that bow nose card. At number seven, we have Mike Haynes, and Mike Haynes is basically just like our guy, um, I can't even think of his name right now, Everson Walls, but he's literally one inch taller. He's like literally the almost exact same card. You guys can see the one thing that really sucks about him, though, is the agility, which I have not noticed at all with him. Like I said, I've used every card on this list besides Akello Witherspoon, and I have not noticed the agility literally at all on Mike Haynes. Him and Ramsey have a little bit of lower agility. Mike Haynes gets kind. I don't know. I have not noticed it at all. Maybe it's because I do run a lot of zone. But at the end of the day, he's been great for me in every stage of the game, even when he had that legend card early on. he has He's going to have 99 man for you, 99 zone. He'll have 99 press as well. Very good play rec. And then when you take a look down here, he's going to have the same exact stats like Everson Walls right there. He'll have exactly 80 tackling, the same exact power. And then he does lose one in block shed, which, like I said, if you're above 90 anyways, it doesn't matter, the plus one right there. But like I said, he is just one inch taller. I don't know. Like I said, if you're, if you're worried about the agility, I haven't really noticed agility. Maybe it's 
because I don't run a lot of man coverage. But at the end of the day, I think Mike Haynes is still a very, very good card. Number six, we do have Randy Moss. And this card is, it should be top three, right? We all know it. It should be a top three corner in the game. But I feel like EA knew what they were doing when they released this card with these awful abilities. You guys got to remember, he's a cornerback. So he has that mid zone KO, which is all right. It's an all right ability, but he's not going to be really playing any mid zone reads unless you put him in a vert hook in certain defenses but that's getting like that's like sometimes you're gonna have to like switch up your defense to even make that ability valuable then he has the deep route ko which is not bad but you would have to run man all the time to get the worth out of that but randy moss like i said he should be up there he's six foot four he's maxed out in almost every single stat his play rec's a little low but that never really matter honestly i saw i saw it with him he was very good out there no matter what but like i said it sucks that even if you want to throw acrobat even on him even if you want to throw another zone ko on him you're gonna is spending at least three plus ap on this card which is not very viable you know what i mean ape saving ap is the biggest thing that's like in the year because we already have stack corners everywhere so if you could save ap in certain spots that's huge but this card is actually wasting ap putting this card on your team although he's a great player great build everything you're wasting ap which is never a good thing but i'm telling you him being rainy moss six foot four it makes up for it. it's a weird card He's a weird card in this game. They knew what they were doing, nerfing him. Because if they would have released him as a normal corner with normal abilities, he would be the best corner in the game for a long time. Number five, we do have Kadero Patterson. And I do think he is the worst of the golden tickets. Although he has the biggest name value of the golden ticket. So I know a lot of people might not like him being the lowest. But he actually is the worst when it comes to actual stats. That doesn't mean he's a bad card. Like I said, he's still top five corner in the game. But when you look at him, he's obviously going to be maxed out in every stat. He'll have the 99 speed for you. Really good excel, really good agility. He has really good stats across the board. Play rack, man zone. I know the man's 95. If it's above 90, it's it's hitting a threshold. 95 and above already, it's it's amazing. I'm telling you guys, I know the 99 looks sexy, but a 95 just going to play just as good as a 99 in the most part. You got to remember, you'll have your strat cards too, boosting that up. But when you take a look down here, you will have 99 tackling and 99 power, right? But like I said, I do think the block shed should have been the one they boosted, especially if they boosted tackling. Block shed would have been more important. Like I said you're not going to be making a lot of these plays if you're not getting off the block in the first place but at the end of the day he's still a very good card like i said nonetheless very to be top five in this game you have to be very good i'm just comparing to the rest of the cards above him and number four we do have justin lane and this card I've, I've absolutely loved him you will see these next three cards so Kadero patterson justin lane and the guy right after this are all actually the same height they're all the same height they're all golden tickets they're very good cards right they're all very good cards so you'll notice a little bit of a setback when it comes to the speed i mean the agility is like i said a little bit low i have not noticed it lane has been on my team since the day training varieties have came out he's been on my team that day right when he dropped to like 250 he was on the squad he's been amazing for me i've absolutely loved this guy he's a big corner at six foot two i like i said i have not noticed agility i've used mike canes i've used lane i've not noticed it maybe like i said maybe it's because i don't run man i don't know but when it comes to like the zone and man uh, coverage right there still above 95 like i said the strike cards will boost that as well not the best press but still like i said very viable very viable the thing i would like to say why i'm taking him over Kadero patterson he is 99 block shed whoever made this card boosted the block shed which i love he has 99 block shed 99 tackling and 99 power that is insane i don't think people realize that is insane this card is literally a safety that is six foot two at corner he'll get every corner ability you need the for cheap like the man abilities the zone abilities justin lane's very good i love that they boosted the block shed Number three, we have my newest addition to the team. I did just pick him up, and I've been loving him, Rasul Douglas. Like I said, very similar to our guys right before him, Kadero Patterson and also Justin Lane. Six foot two. He's going to be, actually, I think he's the heaviest of the two. I think he's almost 20 pounds heavier than our guy right before him. But 99 speed, 99 excel. It's weird how a lot of these guys have lower agility. I don't know why they're giving lower agility for golden tickets. These cards should be the best out. They honestly should. That's what golden tickets should always be but you'll see he has 99 man 99 zone he's like the same card almost the same exact card as justin lane but he's just better in that man and zone he's maxing out there maxing out the press as well and when you take a look down here he'll have 99 in all three of those stats as well block shit power and tackling so basically he's justin lane but just better simply just better but number two we do have chris westry and i still think even if you're using the 96 overall chris westry he's still like number two honestly a six foot four corner that gets one ap accurate I really think 
I, it's hard to like talk about, but if you are using Acrobat, use the 96. I think saving AP is the biggest thing in the world. You could put another ability on him and use the same AP you would use on this card. Although this card is better when it comes to stats all around, like the, the block shit and everything, it's absolutely insane getting one AP Acro. I think, I like I said, I think abilities are the things that make the cards the best and saving one AP, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is. But like I said, if you're not using the acro, then use this card. If you are using acro, I would use 96. For me, I'm actually switched over to a lot of zone KOs. On my team, I've been trying out zone KOs, and I really do enjoy them. So Chris Westry, this one's actually on my team. And unlike the other guys, they actually gave him really good agility, really good excel and a speed. He's an all-around good card. Westry, an absolute beast in this game. You guys all know if you've used this previous card. At number one, I think we all knew this was coming. You guys know I normally keep these lists to auctionable only, right? But this is a free card that everybody can get. Literally every single person watching this video can get. I think even these challenges are not expirable either, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see an expiration date on them. I've never seen them say they're expiring. They're all still there. You can get this card for free. Absolutely amazing. So that's why he's on this list. But when you, obviously, he's going to be number one. Six foot nine 270 pounds so he's the biggest corner by far literally by far five inches on chris westry he's by far the biggest when it comes to weight who have 99 speed for you really good excel like i said he does get every team cam as well so if you're running a theme team even if you don't have your strat cards you'll probably still get 99 speed for you really good man zone press i know a lot of people before he hit 99 didn't like him because he didn't have high agility change of direction or even like the play rack you guys can see is now a 98 he has 99 change direction i know a lot of people said he doesn't play good in Man, I don't see how he could maybe because of his frame. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people say that under some comments or even in my stream. I've heard people see that. But honestly, this has been one of the best cards I've used all year. I think he might be the best card on defense right now for me. He just an absolute beast out there you can play him at safety corner anything when you look at his stats down here as well he has 99 finesse move 97 power move 98 hit power 99 tackling and 96 block shot he's literally a d lineman out there tallest this is like by far the best corner it's not even close like rush is very good but he is literally not even remotely close to the set too tall i hope you guys enjoyed the video i love doing the top tens we did have at least i think five new corners joining this top 10 since the last one i had to redo this one the corners you guys know very important position in the field that kind there's wide receivers tight ends whatever you want to say on the offense but i appreciate you guys watching make sure to comment down below which corners you are using and i hope to see you guys in the next one peace out boys